I think we know why she comes back every year. The Morton, no. No. <laughs> the Morton Frank Award for Best International Business Reporting in Magazine, sponsored by Mark Lemke, goes to Cam Simpson and Jesse Westbrook of Bloomberg Business Week for tracing a hundred million cash infusion from a Wall Street hedge fund that helped prop up Zimbabwe's brutal Robert Mugabe. Cam, who comes to us from London, is accepting his third OPC award. And there's a citation for William Langawasha of Vanity Fair for the Chaos Company. Um, thank you all very much. I'm going to violate the first rule, which is we're not supposed to thank anyone. And I'm going to do that because, um, as Deborah said, I'm based in London. Jesse was based in London when we did this story. And for those of you not playing along back here at home, we have some really horrible libel laws in London. And when you're writing about billionaires doing business with Robert Mugabe's government in Zimbabwe, that is not a good thing. We still have a little thing called a prior restraint that they can get or threaten in the case of having endless resources to do that. So my editors, our editors, actually showed tremendous courage, even as we wobbled in the face of blistering threats from a billionaire and his lawyer. So thank you to my editors for having the courage to do this story. Reda Gagori, Bob Blau, Brian Erstad, Brad Wieners, and Josh Triangle. The only other thing I want to say is we're never going to escape the selfie era, at least not in the foreseeable future. But it is great, even as the selfie era permeates journalism, to be in a room with so many selfless journalists who do exactly the opposite of the selfie and turn the camera around and put it in the places where it really, really needs to be. And it's a great honor to be with you all. Thank you very much.